Hello, my name is Cliff Williams. I'm an independent optician in White's Causeway, Kirkcaldy, Fife, Scotland, and I'm delighted to say I'm the first optician in the UK to have the latest Zeiss Cirrus 6000 Angioplex, and I'd like to show you the functionality and integration that it provides my practice. The macula cube scan is very fast, 100,000 scans per second. This provides us with a macular report, volumes are bottom left and the structure you can see in the display. The next scan we'll do will be a single line raster. We've enlarged it from 9mm the normal to a 12mm wide scan. You can see the structure in detail. You can blow up and you can also show where you have scanned. The next scan will be the 21 line raster, 9mm long. We go through the fovea and I tip it towards the optic nerve head. You can cycle through the rasters and see all 21 of them individually, picking out any pathology that you may see. The next scan is the optic nerve head scan, optic disc cube it's called. This provides us with the glaucoma analysis. You can see the heat map showing a good butterfly pattern. We can also combine this with the macular cube scan. We can get the wellness report, ganglion cell, macular cube and RNFL. The next scan is the angiography of the macula. In this report we can then bring in the perfusion, the blood flow. This is a five montage scan for angiography. Now we're going to do anterior chamber. We drop a lens on the front. First scan is a cornea. This gives us perchymetry and epithelial thickness. Now we can set up the chamber depth, chamber diameter, and then we can drop on the anterior angles. Now into forum, we've transported the information over. We've also got the Claris 500 pictures to look at as well. These are the original Visucam pictures that we've got before we had the Claris 500 ultra wide field, true image, true color image. On the right is the original Visucam picture, on the left is the detail that you get with the Claris 500. We can introduce this into the OCTA scans in Zeiss forum. You can see the PDF reports that you've exported from the OCT. Here's one of the scans that we can also do, which is a radial scan. Now we can also superimpose the image from the Claris 500. And you can cycle around the clock face, seeing all the different raster positions. This forms part of the Retina Workplace option from Carol Zeiss in the forum. Now we're looking at macular change analysis. You can see on the right here the volumetric change from the previous visit. A linear graph along the bottom which shows us there's no change there. We can introduce the original Visucam 200 image onto the 2020 scan on the left. And then we can do the same on the right. This visit obviously has the Claris 500 image to work with, which is a bit clearer and more defined and also wider. So you can click and alternate between the raster scan and the fundus picture. Like that.
We're now going to look at angiography analysis. We'll use the 6x6 six six cube that we've done. And again, we can also introduce the Claris 500 image, which makes very handy viewing when it comes to interpreting the scans versus the fundus picture. We can bring in the perfusion levels. And you can look through all the layers. We've also got the vessel values as well. You can also fade between the OCTA scan and the fundus image by using this slider. These are the reports that we can generate as PDF for submission to the hospital to highlight any issues so it's not a large file. And again we can send in this five image montage for angioanalysis.